The whole thing, the whole shock of her coming in in a wheelchair with the last episode. Oh yeah, I forgot we have recaps. Oh, this is recapping the entire thing. Or who you're messing around with? Don't ever touch me again, freak! Didn't even look like a heart. Oh shoot. Let's yeah, that's when we hung up uh, in hard. hung out in the booth. Uh, what are you doing here, Max? Kate. Stop. I Don't swear to you guys, I'm gonna go back. Now. I'm gonna go back and figure out how to save her if I play this game I know again. This isn't pleasant for any of us. Man. Miss Caulfield, please tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank. Being more than a friend. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> That's when we changed Hello. everything. Are you even listening, Maxine? <laughs> this is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? <sighs> Max Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. Ugh. Life is Strange is a story-based game that features player choice. The consequences of all your in-game actions and decisions will impact the past, present, and future. So choose wisely. Man. I'm sure we can fix what we did, right? Right? Uh, okay, we're at the beach. This game, top notch. Game. This looks beautiful. Square Enix, like it just looks so great. It reminds me of a Telltale game. Maybe because of the player choice aspect, or if it, or it's the look too, because it kind of does. Well, no, because usually Telltale games have like. Oh, I wonder if you can. Still don't know what that says. Entertainment. Dang, come on. Freaking intro scene. I want to see what the heck happened. So what's happening? Why are we starting off at the beach, though? Or like the boardwalk? Uh-huh. And there's still that whole worry about that giant storm that Max saw. Life is Strange, Episode 4. Dark Room. Okay, so we might finally find out what happened to Rachel. Oh, no. We came walking up with... <sighs> Alright, so this is how this is going to start. We're going to start off emotional, huh? We're going to start off emotional. We're going to start off damn emotional. See? <sighs> okay. Okay. You know what? Maybe we can talk to Chloe and figure out how this all happened. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. Okay, so she can still speak. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier uh. to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, uh. pretty much. Yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. 
I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. But you could take some amazing shots. Do we still have our camera? Those beached whales are so sad. Oh. Oh! I kind of know how they feel. I didn't even notice those whales. I'm alive here with you. I don't understand how I didn't You're notice those giant ass point. whales sitting right there. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. I want to talk about Are the accident. Are okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? No, we haven't. There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. Oh my god. I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. You mean Rachel? You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. You did? This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. Snow and eclipse? Don't say that. Don't say that. I'm not trying to bum you out. It just seems like Arcadia Bay is having a meltdown. I know things seem out of control, but... As long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't <laughs> even know. Listen, Chloe... I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. What, what, and what? In the first re what? <laughs> to hear her say she hates that word after being able to hear her say, I must be a bad influence on you. I mean, I oh, she either said bad or she said good. I can't remember, but I think she said good. Good, bad. Y'all know what y'all know what what she said. Y'all can watch back. I might too. I might just do so too. Man, this is such a different Chloe. Ah. Uh. And I think I do remember seeing that picture where he bought her that car. Some prick in an SUV. Oh, Damn. Pretty high tech lair. Feels like a high tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Wow. Um, you're a great dog. Damn. You're kind and sensitive when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Period. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you can you bring me some water? Man, this is giving. Oh, oh, there's a ramp right here. 
Snow globe. Snow globes uh, are taking over. They're nice, though. They really are. I love that it's a skateboard one. Hello, Chloe. She likes fluffy animals now. I mean, they're nice. They're really nice. That's a serious heat lamp. Does Chloe look at the garden and think about her childhood? She yeah, can't even that... feel the grass now. This, like, went from 100 to negative 2. Chloe has a new memory of William and her together. Oh, we actually did take that picture. And now it's right there. At least Chloe doesn't weigh that much. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. She has to use that ventilator just to breathe. What in the hell Instead happened? Of handing Chloe a bong, I'm feeding her water. Did I give her a choice? Oh, this is the water. Drink up, Buttercup. I thought we had to go out the room to get it. <laughs> oh, man. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was <laughs> just a thought. Wouldn't have been a bad one. No, you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, well, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. What What do you remember? What do you remember about us as kids? We all have different memories. I think about us as little pirates running and jumping through Arcadia Bay. Me too. But we're still pirates in our own way. Uh, yeah, right. Check me out, Chloe of the Caribbean. No way will I get on a fucking boat now. Unless you're with me. As you can see, mm. I can't keep all my other friends away. You have me. You have me. I'm not leaving you, Chloe. Well, you didn't visit me a lot either. I mean, I loved your cards and photos, but... I know I wasn't around much. No excuses. I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not Supermax. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. Well, they love you. They love you so much. I know. My mom and dad are so cute. They always pop in here and make sure everything's okay with me. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks and the medical bills are fucking insane. Can they pay all the bills? <sighs> no way. They keep the numbers away from me, but it doesn't take much research to find out I'm costing my parents almost a million dollars a year. Chloe, you're priceless. Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. <laughs> me, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> What do you want to watch? Perfect. Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. The fact that well, Max just had to say that. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. I swear I won't fall asleep. She's going to fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. The fact that Chloe, the fact that Chloe, the fact that Max literally just had to say, I bet you'd look great with blue hair, when the original timeline literally had her with blue hair makes me so fucking sad. It makes me so sad. I'm just like, there's the old Chloe. Ah, uh, she still, she still has the, don't, don't do that. I just try to zoom in. I press the LT. <laughs> I just tried to Whoa. zoom in Chloe to look at what that. Control her computer. It's so great people get this high tech help. That is so incredible, and she can browse cat videos on the web. Hmm. I should offer to put makeup on for Chloe. Not that I can, but it would be fun. Man, Joyce and William built a whole new bathroom for Chloe. They're so great. Chloe's message board since the accident sure looked. 
Hmm? What? What is this? It's nice my parents sent a card at least. Hmm. I wonder who this is. Kind of a generic card. Excuse me. Megan. I wasn't very available to Chloe. Real nice. She did say that would you like Max did say that would change soon and she's here now. At least I sent road trip selfies to Chloe. I'm sure that made her feel great. Oh, she's got the the little picture. The little picture right there of the little doll that she has on her. That's pretty cool. Dang. I still can't believe I put Chloe in that chair. Man. I mean, it wasn't your fault. What were we looking for here? <sighs> Here's the DVD. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's in here? Oh, my God. I made that mix for her when we were 12. Oh, that's why we... Yeah, pirates make a lot more sense now. Give... I don't want to do that just yet, because I do want to look at her computer. Chloe Boop. is still a punk at heart. But she can't stage dive anymore. That's so cool Oof. that Chloe has made friends online. Dang. That's cool. Chloe... I'm not going to say her life she isn't... To use a uh, I've already looked in here. I'm not going to say that uh, Chloe's Nothing life isn't supplies. that bad. Right? It's a lot calmer than what she had. But what she had before was also great. I mean, not... Max, it is so cool that you're here again. I'm glad you think so. Of course. Like, neither of her lives that we've seen so far were the best. But, like... I just hope there's a way we can make it better. I really do. Because I don't want her to suffer in either of her lives that we've seen so far. Because right now, she can't even move. And... And the other one, her life is just... What feels like a bunch of bad luck. What are we watching? Don't you cry on me. Oh, wait. She said we were watching Blade Runner last night. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. I completely forgot she said we were going to watch Blade Runner. Ooh. Max, did you fall asleep in that chair? How un... How are you going to just go and lean over and just fall asleep? Man. Okay, actually, no. I think I've done that before. You know, I think I've done that before. I woke up with such a crick. Morning! I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. How dare you? I know you were beat down after the day with me. And Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do, you, do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. <laughs> you are a bitch in the morning. They must it's have came in here and I checked keep. in. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I Yesterday keep. Was God damn. <laughs> blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but Man. being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. Uh, fuck. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, uh. Can you please, please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's, uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep this wag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? 
I'm on it, Chloe. Gotcha. I'm not sure how severe her head pain is right now, but as a person who regularly, like, not regularly, regularly, but I get headaches quite a bit. Man, headaches suck. I never noticed how nice their couch looks. Oh, did I? No, I didn't. I forgot I messed it up the last time. I messed it up last time. I went too fast and I forgot to draw the little butterfly right there. William? William? Hey, William. Am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. I don't know why that was so you funny to me, exactly but it was. the same. <laughs> Not the same. I haven't cool. aged a day. Good. Or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? Um. Go I don't away. know how to say this, but... I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. And she's been a trooper. Glad you're here. She is amazing. I'm so glad you're here to help her. And be her father. I'm so glad Joyce is here to help us both. Max, I just hate to think of what would happen to Chloe if I wasn't here. William, I just want you to God know damn. that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I love the way her eyes look in this shot. Max. Man, it's the fact that, you know what? I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. Man, I kind of want to act like it's the last time. And please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. Matter of fact, okay, fine. Hello, I wanted okay. to talk to him. I'll talk to him about the rest of the stuff. Being around you and Joyce again is so nostalgic. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> I think it's great for Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy, too. So, it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. Or is it? Hmm. Crazy weather. What do you think is going on with all of this crazy weather and animals dying? Nobody knows, right? It is Nostradamus type shit, pardon my French. But all I actually care about now is Chloe and Joyce. My family. I was reading about that missing girl. Rachel Amber. Oh yes, yeah, she went to Blackwell, right? Ah, oh, poor thing. That's a real nightmare for a family. I get scared thinking about Chloe and that we might oh, shoot. lose her someday. Ugh. The Prescott family might be bad news. What do you think about them? Evil. Next question. Damn. It sounds like you know them well. More than I want to. But Joyce has to work for those greedy bastards at Pan Estates. I don't even like to think about it. Mm. I was impressed by Chloe's room and all the high-tech equipment. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. The insurance helps, but uh, I don't know, Max. I know it must be hard on you guys, financially. These bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But, but we'll get through it. The price is always right. Get it? No? I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. <laughs> you act like it's... Gosh dang. This. They might get their own home taken away because of medical bills. That's terrible. Hold on. Dear Mr. Price, this letter is to notify you that you are in. You are in default of. Oh, oh shoot. Um, uh, default of your payment obligations, home loan, 783. Uh, this is. Twelve thousand dollars. It's not even too, wow. Uh, overdue since two thousand and nine. What? It's been four years. Four years, I assume, since the accident. He's been. These Hush. whales are just a preview of the tornado to come. 
And the Prescott Foundation? Jesus. Don't tell me they're profiting off of the animals dying. Man. Rachel Amber is even missing in this reality. I guess I can't change everything. <clears throat> Hasn't been seen for over six months. Few leads, little information. Uh, Damn, if she's missing in this reality too, then what the hell? No change to spare anymore. Now it's back to cookies. Ugh. This. this is a food coupon boss. She is. She really is. This is sad. This is just sad as hell. Man. I heard that, William. Joyce and William never had a garage sale before. Man. They're drowning in debt just to take care of their daughter. Such bullshit. God damn. What the fuck? <clears throat> what is going on? Man, this reality is no better than the first one. It really isn't. Where is the freaking bathroom? Where is the freaking... Okay, so I think the bathroom is that door right there. So let me go look in her Closed room. The door doesn't have a warning anymore. No, it doesn't. Please, what am I about to see in this room? What am I about to see in this room? It's completely empty. Uh, it, what, what, what? Toys? I kind of want to open this and see what's in here. Shoes. <laughs> Chloe always did love stomping around in her boots. They bought crutches for Chloe, hoping she might walk again. Oh. Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. God damn it. Man. It's it, it this this is a I never heard much about William's brother. This is a travesty. I don't even know what to do. We gotta switch it back. We're gonna have to switch it back to the other reality. I'm still overwhelmed by this new reality. And I feel so guilty for putting Chloe and her family through this. I could give Chloe the choice of keeping William alive, but that would be cruel. No. But then I see that they're a family again, and who am I to judge? Yeah. Man. If it comes down to it, we're not telling her. If it comes down to it, I hate to even do it, but we're not telling Chloe that we're we'll fixing it. never had to hide from step douche. Even then. A blue butterfly? I'm sure this is a total coincidence. Damn. Probably is. It's the fact that if we if we're given the choice, if we are given the choice, we are not telling Chloe that we're gonna go fix the future. We're not telling her about the oh here's the bathroom. We're not telling her about any of it because I can't see. We're not telling her about any of it because no, like either choose this not life where you are completely disabled. And can't move your entire body, walk, do anything, like, and have your dad, or not have your dad, and then have that entire life that you used to have, like... It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine, too. Man. Mm-mm. How's it going, Time Tripper? Funny. I think I look older. Here it is. 
I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. What's Bathroom in here? looks almost the same. Just more medicine. Man. We. We're gonna go take. What is this? It's all about you, Arcadia Bay. Isn't it? <sighs> knock, knock. Is that Joyce? Oh, Max, it is so nice to have you around. Joyce. Look at them. They have no idea what's in their future. Dang. They looked so happy. And William kind of looked like Warren. That is such a sweet shot of Chloe. I wonder who took the picture. The damn sure wasn't me. William is trying so hard. He's still awesome. Gosh, dang. What are we going to do? Oh, no. I didn't realize how bad Chloe's entry really was. Okay, so this is going to give us information. I'm glad I didn't go back downstairs yet. Ahem. <clears throat> Dear Mr. and Mrs. Price, as we discussed last week, Chloe's respiratory system is showing signs of rapid weakening. This accounts for her recent amnia and loss of breath. As a doctor, I'm committed to her well-being, but I want you to understand the rea that the that reality the reality that respiratory failure is common in people with severe spinal injuries. Your daughter is one of the bravest, strongest patients I've ever had, and I'm proud to be working with her. I want you as parents to prepare for any and all possibility. I believe Chloe should also be made aware of her changing condition. If you would like to discuss this further, you have my contact info. Best Dr. Anton Fibes. Dudes. Amnia, loss of breath, respiratory system, weakening. Man. J Joyce. Oh, really? Joyce is already a super mom. Always more stuff to do. There's always good. more stuff to look at. Oh, Joyce used to hate smokers in the diner. Now she's doing it her damn self. Good morning, Max. Oh, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when you were kids. I remember. It's nice waking up in your house again. Oh, William and I love it. Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years. After <sighs> the accident. Chloe. I wish I was a better friend. I know Chloe doesn't get many visitors. Oh, Max, you're Chloe's best friend for a reason. You're here exactly when she needs you. Yeah. Chloe needs help. Who helps Chloe out when you guys are at work? We have a series of revolving nurses and caretakers. <laughs> Chloe still causes trouble, even if she can't move. Max, Chloe's condition is not improving. Yeah. Her respiratory system is very weak and she... she... Do you know what I'm saying? She's running on fumes. Oh, I'm so sorry you have to go through all this. Bad or good, I embrace every moment with my daughter and my husband. This is what it means to be a family. And we'll always be one. No matter what. How are you doing, Joyce? I'm doing the best I can, Max. I won't lie, it's difficult, but nobody said life was easy here in Arcadia Bay. This is a horrible ass town. Plus, you guys have to work too. Ah, uh, Bill and I have no time for ourselves. We're working more than we're living. I need to take a part time gig at Pan Estates. Ugh. Do you know the Prescotts? I know that Sean Prescott won't be happy until he owns everything in Arcadia Bay. Stay away from his son, Nathan. Understood. Do you know somebody named David Madsen? He, um, might hang out at the two wheels. Well, that was random. Yeah, he's a, a bus driver. He comes in sometimes. Cute, quiet. Why? Oh, um, I, w I was just curious. You always were. Nice to see that everything doesn't change. So, what do you think is going on here with all of this eco-havoc? Maybe Arcadia Bay just wants to be left alone. I know the feeling. Honestly, 
I don't give a shit about too much outside our house. I don't Fair blame enough. you, Joyce. Except now we have dead birds and beach whales outside our front door. So maybe I should care, for Chloe's sake. Yeah. I have to tell you how much I love seeing you and William together again. He's been such a hero through all this. Chloe and I are lucky to have him. Is William still the same? After everything that's happened? For better and for worse. But always for the better. I... I never thought I'd love a man so much I can't imagine life without him. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds corny, I know. You rule, Joyce. Shit. Things would be different if I did. I like how you think, kid. I better get back to Chloe now. <laughs> it's good talking with you, Joyce. You too, honey. Ugh. We need to go figure out a way to change this because hell to the fuck no. Everything's not going to be sitting here depressing as hell. Chloe's over here disabled. They're over here drowning in debt. There's beached whales on the beach. Man, just someone was hanging. Oh, it's a chandelier. I gotta give Chloe morphine for crying out loud? No. No, no, no. We're fixing this. Chloe! Wake the hell up, bitch. Move the dip. <laughs> I just walked straight into the chair. Okay. Chloe, Finally. here. Uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. Chloe, that's not funny. Not <laughs> Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, okay, but... Get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I, I will. will. Damn. So... So did we do it right? Of course my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Should we tell yes, her? I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. Damn, I don't See, know if I want to tell her about... She... I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo, but can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Man. Please, my diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. I don't know if I want to tell her about her, con about her worsening condition, but I know I'm going to. Just because there's no way I'm letting, I'm Despite not letting you know. They're still a happy family again. It's cool that in this reality, Chloe really loves skating too. Like, little things haven't changed, but enough has changed to where it's very extremely noticeable. Wow, Chloe was a straight A student. What a bastard. I totally should have let Chloe steal your bullshit fund. Even if it wasn't another reality. What? Hang on a second! Blackwell Academy, the 8th of August, 2011. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Price, as principal, I am in sympathy of your with your numerous requests for Chloe's special needs in regards to her wheelchair and class accessibility, etc. Blackwell prides itself on making sure students with disabilities receive full whew, compliance under the Americans with Disability Act. However, given that the campus and buildings have all been pre-, pre Constructed since pre-1977, our school has not yet undergone the modern, modern renovations necessary to fulfill all the needs of your daughter and her regrettable condition. Sadly, with recent deplorable federal cuts in education, it will take many more fundraisers to update, to fully update Blackwell, but that day will come. Will come. Chloe is without a doubt an amazing student and great potential, with great Potential despite her handicap, and I believe she would find a more fitting, oh shoot, rewarding scholastic environment with the H. West Miskatonic Institute in Bolton. They have a rich legacy of disabled gradu gradu gratitudes, graduates, and I know that Chloe would achieve her usual academic leadership in more comfortable surroundings with her outstanding GPA. There is no way that Miskatonic would welcome there oh there's no doubt that they would welcome her with open arms open halls uh, I hope you will seriously consider this suggestion as I'm sure your daughter would prefer to attend a school that can cater to her many needs 
in the same spirit, I'm also enclosed. I've also enclosed brochures for other potential schools in the Oregon region. If you have any questions, please contact my office. Yeah, we should have damn well let her steal that. We should have damn well let her steal that bitch. Man, this principal ain't good for nothing. He never was either. Mm -mm -mm. You know what? It's fine. He gonna get his. It's fine. He gonna get his. Wait till I get back to the other reality. Just wait. Just wait till I get back to the other reality. I'm whooping that bald ass of his. <laughs> Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my god. Look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> my dad would have banished me. Oh, yeah, 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 the page. I forgot this bitch can't. <laughs> oh, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over our kid and your babe when we had the chance. There's still time for you. Man. That right there? Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. This photo. I literally. Maybe I could. <gasps> Wait. Listen, Max. She My knows. The respiratory system is failing, and uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along and I will too this isn't how I want things to end what? what are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible Max. you made me feel that way today I want this time with you be my last memory. Is she asking me to kill her? Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. No! No! Rewind! Different reality right now! Blue hair and Chloe right the fuck now! No! <laughs> I'm not killing her! I am not killing... <laughs> Can I pause the game? Thank you. Thank you. Hold on. Hang on a second. Uh, hold, hold. Wait. Wait a second. Hold on. Where is my phone? I'm conflicted. Where is my fucking phone? Where? Legitimately, where is my phone? I need to contact Best Friend because there ain't no way. <laughs> Man, I hope he answers. I hope he answers right now. I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to. <laughs> ah, this bitch really gonna make me. I don't think I have ever been more... Uh, borderline speechless at a video game before. My best friend... That's like if Jet Broom was actually my Jet, my legitimate best friend in real life. That's like if my best friend was confined to a wheelchair or a fucking hospital bed because he done had a fucking life altering car accident and they asked me to kill him. What? What do you say? What do you do? Okay. Guys, I just talked to Jet. Hold on, let me pause this. I just talked to Jet, and he says that I should fulfill Chloe's wish. No matter how badly, I don't want to. 
he says it's a good idea to do. So, we're going to fulfill Chloe's wish and offer. This is going to be her last memory, so everybody say your goodbyes to Chloe right now. Chloe, I don't want to do this, but okay. I don't want to do this! I'll just drift to sleep. Dreaming of us here together. Forever. I don't want to do this! Max! No. Max, please. I know I pressed the accept button. Can you, can you please? No. Please, I know I pressed the accept button, but you don't have to do this. Please, no. Don't crank. No. She already cranked it. She cranked the thing. Don't. No. Turn it back off. Turn it back off. I'm begging you. I am begging you. Thank you so much. I'm so proud of you for following your dreams. Uh, don't forget about me. No. Never. Don't die. I love you, Max. Don't you dare die. You're a champion. See you around. No. Max. Sooner than Not you. Not Max. Chloe. Chloe? Chloe? <gasps> this bitch is dead and my eyes are watering. No! This bitch is dead and my eyes are watering. No, I'm about to... Let me take off my glasses. Let me take off my fucking glasses because fuck to the no. We are getting the old reality sorry. back. We are getting the old reality back right now. Sorry, girl. Your daddy dying. Your daddy is about to die like hell. I'm going to make sure of it. We are getting the old reality back. One way or the other. Ew, it's blurry. No, it's still blurry. Give me the old reality back right now.